Once upon a time, there was a Greek titan named Prometheus. He gave humans many gifts. One of them was fire. The fire is known as a bright light of knowledge. Now it's up to teachers to make sure the light is passed on to future generations. That lit torch has history behind it. It was there since the beginning, so why blow it out? Pass it on. The legend of Prometheus is said to have played a pivotal role in the early history of mankind, leading modern-day educators like Michael Chersky to yearn for knowledge and pay it forward. Chersky has fully embraced his creative, original, and life-enhancing qualities. Each of these characteristics actually defines the term Promethean and can be tied tightly to the way Michael lives his life. Even at a very young age, his ingeniousness was sparked by his ability to overcome a speech impediment. Singing has really helped me with my stuttering. You know, it made me slow down the process in my mind so I'm able to actually um, say perfect vowels. Michael has embraced his love of music ever since he was a child, which is why he decided to enroll in the music program at South Suburban College. While at SSC, Michael met another harmoniously inspired fellow, Albert Jackson, who mentored him throughout his college years. I think a mentor inspires someone, and once you meet a mentor, they impart so much to you that you just, you live with the desire to impart that to other people, to keep the knowledge going, it's, it's, a, it's a spark. It is a Promethean spark. It is the fire that will keep civilization going. And my hope is to give that spark to other people, whoever wants it. Chersky wants it. Albert was very supportive to Michael in many ways, not only educationally, but personally as well. This proved to be extremely helpful when Michael's mother was diagnosed with frontal lobe dementia while he was a student at SSC. Till this day, I, as I'm still trying to categorize everything. You know, during the past 10 years, you had to say she had Alzheimer's for 10 years, and you know, how it really affected me and made me realize what was really important in my life and made me realize my true passion. You know, she wanted me to do music. Unfortunately, Michael's mother lost her battle to this horrible disease at the age of 60. However, one thing that will not be lost is the information she taught him when he was young. She was always about education. She made me sit down at the kitchen table. She'd, get, she'd go to um, an education store. I, I have no idea which store, but she'd buy math books, reading books, science books, you know, and she just didn't walk away. She sat down with me and helped me with it. Little did Michael know, he'd end up utilizing the teaching skills his mother used on him in a classroom of his own. While attending SSC, Michael began teaching music to young students at Books, Brushes, and Bands for Education in Northwest Indiana, providing original lesson plans and a unique teaching style. I have rarely seen anyone um, at any age who can communicate as well as he does, work with people as well as he does. He's just terrific with students. They understand him, he can speak their language. While maintaining his teaching position at the Children's Organization in Northwest Indiana, Michael received his associate degree from South Suburban College, a bachelor's degree from Chicago State University, and began mentoring college students of his own. SSC student Arely Saucedo is currently being mentored by Chersky. He even trained her to take over his teaching position at Books, Brushes, and Bands for Education. Mike has really taught me how to be a good teacher. Um, he's taught me you know, to have patience. Um, everything that Mike does in his workplace, he kind of teaches it to me so that I can also better myself and, you know, be as good as a teacher as he is. One, two, ready, go. Despite the fact that Michael has become an educator, he has not lost his love for performing. He continues to sing with the SSC Chorale and is the assistant director at St. Victor's Church, which allows him to not only direct, but sing and play many instruments during Mass. So Michael's really taken the leadership role. We've transitioned from me being completely in charge to 11 years later, Michael's almost completely in charge and I'm in the background. Uh, so it's been a nice mentorship uh, to see him rise to the occasion and develop his musical skills and talents.
the many life-enhancing opportunities that Michael has experienced led to a creative and original endeavor of his own. Mixing the best of both worlds, Michael pitched the idea to Albert Jackson of having the SSC Chorale perform at St. Victor's Church for a holiday concert. Although Jackson was a bit hesitant at first, the moment he walked into the church and belted out a note, he knew this would be a great venue to hold the performance. Acoustically, it is just a gem. It is, it is the closest thing I've seen to an equilateral box, which is a terrific space to sing in. It just rings, it just rings, it's just a great place to sing. Each year we sell out. We have a 500 to 600 people in our church with 120 people singing with a full orchestra. I'm surprised the windows don't blow out. This is an awesome sound. So I'm really happy that South Suburban been at St. Victor's for the past 10 years. Michael has also taken the knowledge he has gained and incorporated it into the local community. He secured a position as a music teacher at King Elementary School in Dixmoor, Illinois, where he continues to enhance the lives of young students learning about music for the first time. Everybody go! I'm a family person. I believe in a strong family bond. And I tell my students all the time, we are family, no matter what. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, red, brown, yellow, sometimes polka dot. It doesn't matter who you are, how tall you are, you know, if your voice is high or low, we are still family. That's probably one of my biggest accomplishments. When I grow up, I want to be a teacher, just like Mr. Chersky, and inspire kids like me.